the, what are the, the bands that just uh, blow your mind? I mean, there's what's a, your go-to there's a bunch. these days? The go-to these well, Queens of the Stone Age is, yes. is always yeah. sort of like the the primary one for me, just because they're so there's no one else like them, yeah. and they're they're just so so different every time. But you know, I, I, I'm also just. Uh, of such a, I, I'm reached that point where I am so excited just to find anything new, even yeah. if it's old. It's new if it's new to me, like just that excitement of finding a band or finding an album or finding a song. Like that's that's kind of like the other. There's the laughs <laughs> that you, that I'm always looking for, yep. and that high, and then there's the 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 other one of of finding just something new to obsess about. I didn't real. I mean, I, I I realized it at the time. I didn't take it for granted, but for you know almost thirty years, I had this steady stream of bands being. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd show up to work and I'd be like, "Who are these guys? Their name's Green Day." Yeah, well, we'll see if they make it. You know, <laughs> and and they would perform eight feet from me, and then I'd walk over and thank them, and yeah. I'd get to see them at rehearsal, but. Uh, so many, you know, so many bands would come in and, and they were brought in every day yeah. that I didn't have to go out looking for music. Yeah. And then in the last year or so, I noticed what's going on? Something's missing. Mm -hmm. Like something primal and important is missing <laughs> from my life. And um, my wife said, well, you really don't talk to the children. I said, that's not it. <laughs> they don't want to Back to your room. They don't want to talk to you yeah. anyways. They're old enough. They don't want, they don't want they anything to do They just want my them. money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, marriage isn't going well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I spit it out. I, yeah. I did an actual spit take. You did an actual spit take. <laughs> That's good. Oh, good. God, I hate to give you that. I hate to. <laughs> but no, I totally understand what you're but, saying because you yeah. you were in a position where your your job, right, mm -hmm. involved some band having to sit around all day long. Yeah. Because it's not like the actors that come in about an hour before the the show's about to. Right. That band is there pretty much all day long, and at some point they're watching you run your jokes and you always had your guitar and you were always playing your guitar it's like you you were in an environment that was actually nurturing of musicians and you, like yeah. you were able to soak that up as much as they were able oh, to soak it up oh i was just in in heaven but what <clears throat> what i did do my my daughter is uh who's just turned 19 but uh when she was 18 uh she loves music and she's a musician and she said um she really wanted to go to Coachella Mm -hmm. And so I, she said, you want to come along? And I was like, yes, I'll, I'll go to Coachella. And it was such an eye-opening experience for me because I didn't know a bunch yeah. of the bands. I, and um, she educated me. She said, okay, here are all the bands we could listen to. Oh, that's great. And so she uh, played for me all this different music. And I'd be like, wait, who are these people? And she said, well, that's that's uh, you know Japanese Breakfast mm -hmm. and... I was like, wow, they're they're really great. Well, we're gonna go see them then. And then she'd oh, play another band and another band. And so um, it was, I saw some people that I knew, mm -hmm. uh, of course, or people that I had heard of, but mm -hmm. I saw a lot of music uh, and, and you know, you're standing there with a lot of other people, most of them barely clothed. Mm -hmm. uh, Were you also wearing like a, a Native American headdress and, <laughs> and skimpy clothing? Well. Because that's what that's, I understand. This is the, this yeah. is the, yeah. This is the one time I didn't do that. Oh, uh, he's that's, wearing a yeah. Spanx. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was no. Uh, it was uh, it was the amount of near nudity that yeah. I saw was, um, and and you do start to feel like a librarian, like Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> ooh, God. maybe they should try clothing. You know, you're like, take it easy, old man. So I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted to. So I was like, oh look, you know, there's someone's ass. But like, that's why would cool. you say that even? Well, I thought that was did the you say that? I did. Oh, jeez. Hey, there's an ass. <laughs> no. Wait, that's not what I do? Don't do those things no. either. Oh, okay. No, don't well, anyway, say yeah, that. You're not supposed to do that. Have you gone to Coachella? I have. I haven't gone to Coachella in a very long time, though. I, I, I hate to admit it. I, I mean, I remember going, there was a, a good stretch there when I went pretty much every year. I think you and I are going together. Oh. Ooh. What if we went together? As let's. L let's. Yeah. Blay? I'm in. Great. Are you coming too, Blay? No, he's just going to film it. I mean, he'll be there, but he's just going to film it. <laughs> Can you monetize it? 
<laughs> no, my phone's totally charged, guys. I'm definitely filming you doing all of this stuff. Yeah, we're saying they're selfies, but they're taken from 60 feet away. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. then we have to fake that I have really long arms. But like, I mean, concerts in general and festivals, like I, I love going to shows like that was one of the things that i really that really did me in with the pandemic is like taking like live music and concerts away and like that was soul crushing for me for for those two two years two, three how many years i don't even 18 remember 18 years nobody knows 18 years no one even we knows anymore that? but i will say this and it made me sad but i really wanted to bring it down yeah being <laughs> Well, I was going to mention the crash of the Hindenburg, so we each have, but you beat me to it with, that's my, that's my go-to for, you know. It was about to dock successfully in Lakehurst, when it exploded in flames. Come on, Wait, man. what are we talking about? Uh, no. But um, I. I didn't know it was about to dock. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it was oh, just about man. to dock. Yeah. It was so close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tragedy of it. That's it. That's the tragedy. It made it all the way. Yeah, yeah no, it made man. it all the way, and it was just docking when uh, all of a sudden, you know, oh, maybe static electricity. I maybe. didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. That sucks. You're so close. Oh, you. Th wait a minute. It sucks. Huh? You think it sucks now? <laughs> So, so, so I'm obsessing on the crash of the Hindenburg. That sucks. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, it was so close. Prior to this, were you like, eh, no big deal. They had it coming. Uh, I don't like, know. Like it just... I thought it was just like, oh, we're on their way. And then, oh, man. <laughs> no, it's like, uh, that's right. Were, Titanic was like halfway. They were on their way. And oh, man. <laughs> yeah. That you know, every most tragedy. Accidents happened within five blocks of the home. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that makes it worse. You're Very just true. so close. Yeah. To most, it's statistically, most accidents happen within several feet of the dirigible landing spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's statistically true. Uh, no, we'll uh, we'll uh, go together. We'll go together I would and, love that. and watch uh, and and you know. But I, it's one of the things I was going to mention that made me sad is that during the pandemic, young people that I'd be talking to would say, "Oh, I guess I'll never see a concert again," and they would mean it. Oh yeah. Now because they, being older, I had the. I was able to say, I think with some authority, yes, this is a bad thing that's happening right now and it's too bad, but this will pass. Because yeah, yeah, when, yeah. You, totally. when you've lived a while, you see that things happen and even when they feel like they're never going to go away, they do tend to Absolutely. move on. But people in their early 20s would be telling me, you know, um, yeah, it's too bad. I guess no more concerts, no more comedy shows. And I would say, no, 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 they're, they're, it's coming back. Absolutely. They just had such a young perspective yeah. that if you're in your late, in your teens and this pandemic hits, you think, well, that's it. Yeah. I guess we'll just all live indoors M now. Maybe they're not comfortable, like, you know, going in a mosh pit anymore, or like, you know, I think we're all. Surfing. I think we're gonna go right back to what we were doing, okay. exactly. Yeah, yeah. but I, I mean, adults had a similar thing. It was just like, well, I guess we'll never use the valet again. <laughs> <laughs> Just bitter that they had to find now parking. Now it's my turn to say that no, sucks. No, I gotta park. I gotta park this car. The Hindenburg park. sucks, <laughs> and no. no one else is parking. My tricked out Bugatti. It's the same. Yeah, have, that's what I drive around. I gotta in. park three blocks away now. Great. <laughs> I got a Bugatti, and I had uh, seven different hood ornaments put on the front, one on top of the other. All <laughs> Hindenburgs. <laughs> <laughs> and a Kaiser's helmet. <laughs>